If uh, any of you folks out there in uh, television land are wondering about spirochetes and diagnosing them, this is pretty easy with the use of a phase contrast microscope. There are no problem identifying these guys. We have some very interesting. Uh, here's the. As you focus up and down, you can see lots and lots of different kinds of spirochetes coming in and out of focus. So you just kind of look around here. We have the cluster up here, highly organized cluster. Moving over here, we get large forms that uh, do these things. Uh, spinners, odds and ends of strange little creatures. So these guys kind of look like uh, Bordadella things that cause cat scratch fever too. Here's another one of those organized spirochete clusters. Uh-huh. And then we go down and just wander around looking at spirochetes. There's no shortage of these guys here. Yeah, here's an here's a real interesting guy down here at the bottom. And perhaps we can get him to come up a little bit. Or up, up on the slide a little bit. Yeah, there he is. There you want to see a very large cluster of very highly organized spirochetes. Again, who knows what these guys are doing? But I guarantee you it's impossible for you to know what's going on in your patient's mouth without an instrument like this. You just can't tell. And what's very interesting is you get over into this area and, and there's tiny, tiny, tiny kinds of spirochetes in here. I mean, they're very, very, very small. These guys jump in and out of focus because their toe is so tiny that the depth of field in here is just minuscule. But there are some very, very, very small, small, small varieties and species in here that jump in and out. So you just have to kind of keep looking to you get what you're looking for and find what you're looking for. This uh, camera has some difficulty being able to focus on a screen like this. We're uh, buying a video capture card so we'll be able to capture these a lot better.